So let's discuss something. I brought the right with me today, and I don't know why, but I made the mistake of putting G6 Gator Blades on it. Now I know better. And I know that they're phenomenal for mulching up leaves when it's dry. But wet grass, and it's been wet here, when I started mowing this morning, it was 48 degrees. So it just, it clumped everywhere. It left a beautiful cut, like it caught great, but it just clumped everywhere. So threw that back in the trailer and I've been mowing with the Walker B all day, which I, is always my default anyway. So um, I don't know why I even bother. But okay, this year, this was probably about four and a half, roughly, inches tall. Wasn't too bad. I cut it down to three inches, one cut with the Walker B. Got a little dirty, because over in that far side where it dips down in over there, I ran into a little bit of mud. Um, not mud, but it's just like, it's wet there. So I ran into a little bit of wetness over on that side, and you know, you can kind of see it. The other company that mows this over here, they ran into some over there too. So you can see those are their marks there, and this is what I went through here. So that middle section, um, is my section, but I just didn't cut it. I didn't go over any further. No big deal. It's barely growing. But the point is, is I took this at like four and a half inches down to three inches. One cut. Didn't have to double cut it. Didn't have to bag anything. And I just didn't have any issues at all. I mean, it just, it cut phenomenal. And that's what I love about this mower. It don't matter if it's wet or if it's dry, it cuts great. And the fact is, is it's like 725 pounds, but still has a 56 inch deck on it. So I can cut a lot of grass, you know, that I can't get on with this because this one's a lot heavier than that one. And this one will leave marks where the walker won't. So all in all, I don't know, I just, I love riding this right and it's a fun mower to ride and in the right conditions with the right blades it leaves a really good cut. The problem is is the Walker B no matter what the conditions are it leaves a phenomenal cut. Not just a good cut, not a beautiful cut, it leaves a phenomenal cut. It looks like indoor outdoor carpet, it looks like rolling hills because the deck follows the contour. I mean, it, it just leaves a great cut no matter what the conditions are. Um, and, and that's my dilemma. And, you know, some people have asked me, you know, man, you were complaining about the wheels on the deck of the right, and now all of a sudden you're selling it? You're not really selling it because of that, are you? No, no, that's not why. It's because I can't get what I want out of it, and that's my problem. I don't care if my properties take me a little bit longer. I'm not the guy that's just bang them out, bang, 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 bang. Um, I get them done very quickly but if it takes me a little bit longer to get that perfect cut I'm looking for then it just is what it is and I would rather do that than to leave a mediocre cut or a good cut but not great and get them done faster it's just not for me that's not what I'm about that's not what I do so I don't know but you know all in all with the Walker B it's faster than this right anyway so you know, I'm not losing speed or time there. And you can turn much faster on a right than you can on any sit down zero turn or any standard. I don't care what anybody says. I've ridden them all, I've tried it all. I can turn so much faster on that without tearing up grass, even on wet, soft ground, than you can on any other machine. And it's just because you have that forward control lever going. And as you pull back on one of them and you turn, that other wheel is constantly moving. And when you're on a zero turn, a sit down or a standard, if you need to make a, if you want to make a turn and not tear up grass, you have to always keep your opposite wheel moving. That's the only way you can do it. Well, on standards or sit down zero turns, you have to consciously move that other control to keep the other wheel going. With walkers, you don't have to do that. They're going on their own. So that's how I do it.
was just a little front yard but you can see I mean it looks smooth but it's a very bumpy uneven yard and you can see what that walker does I mean I've showed it so many times but you can see what it does on yards like that on any yard and that's like I mentioned before it's a huge common misconception that walkers are designed for manicured perfect you know high-end yards and that's that couldn't be further from the truth that is exactly why the decks are designed to be the 100 percent only true floating deck on the market um i don't really know about x marks version of the walker the ghs kind of mower or i think toro has one bunton had one back in the day i showed you guys that on the old video i did it's called the walker graveyard i showed you one of those um and stuff like that but uh that's why it's designed like that to go left and right and up and down and so independent from the machine itself so that for uneven bumpy rough yards you still get that perfect even cut and that's why that's why it's such a huge misconception because you know it's it's anything but the truth um with people saying they're designed for those perfect yards. I always thought the same thing and I always thought there's no way I would ever own a walker because my yards are so far from perfect it's ridiculous. I don't think I have I don't think I have any to be honest with you that are perfect but that mower sure makes them look like they are. some examples like if you're if you have a property with a lot of hills and walkers are probably not the best mower for you um, the B does really well on hills but not as well as standards that I've been on um, it, it just doesn't and if you're mowing a lot of like one foot tall lawns all the time I mean I did the video of the walker B mowing that field down and it did just fine but if you were gonna do it all the time then yeah, of course there's better mowers for that and uh you know so it, it's probably not uh this camera's bouncing all over it's probably not the most it's probably not the most ideal mower for that but all in all i mean it's for me it works for me and you know i've had i got uh, a guy know that you know i used to work for told me why do you mess around with those mowers and you know you should buy something other than walker mowers and I told him, I'm like, just get on mine and ride it. Mow a couple lawns with it. Tell me what you think. And he's like, I've been doing this for blah, blah, blah. Listen, as soon as somebody starts a conversation off with me saying, I've been doing this for 20 years or 15 years, I instantly stop listening. I may acknowledge them and, you know, nod and uh-huh, uh-huh, you know, this and that. But rest assured that my mind's thinking about what I'm having for dinner that night. I instantly stop listening because... You know just because you've been doing it for 20 years doesn't mean you've been doing it wrong for 20 years so and just because you've been doing it for 15 years doesn't mean that your way is is right and mine is wrong so you know it, it's just my opinion it's what I think and it's you know it's what I like so this is what I'm gonna stick with I think that probably what's gonna end up happening is I'm not gonna buy another mower for a while and uh, yeah, I know you guys are probably saying that's not true. He buys mowers all the time. But the fact of the matter is I have the GHS and I have the 48 inch deck. I'd like a 52 inch deck for bagging on that GHS, but I have the 48. It does perfectly fine. Um, and I have the Walker B with the 56 inch deck, but I now also have that other 56 inch side discharge deck that I can throw on that GHS mower. So in the summer when I'm not bagging anything, I can still run both those walkers. So essentially I have everything I need. Um, 
I just don't know that I'm going to jump into another mower anytime soon. I just don't know that I'm going to find what I'm looking for that is comparable to these walkers. And for me, walkers just where it's at.